Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Superguard, episode number 16. Gonna go with 16, actually. Fifth, no, no, I'm gonna go with 16. I'm gonna stick to it. Let me know, guys, obviously, in the comments if I got that right. I'm pretty sure it's 16. So, still in Southampton, guys, as you can probably tell by my background. Um, not the regular background. So, uh, I will be, I'm going back tomorrow night. So, the next video, you guys, will see. I will be back proper setup get some streams done as well it's been obviously it'll be a week by then since i've done my last stream uh, on my phone again so if i keep looking down it's just yeah i'm playing on my phone uh can't for some reason have obs and blue stacks open at the same time on my mac yeah they just don't like me doing that so i won't <laughs> um there is something i wanted to show you guys before we get into the finale of the rd and that is and I know, I know for a lot of people this might not be a big deal, but for the first time we actually got 15,000 points. This is our first ever battleground where we've gotten 15,000 points. So, obviously I know there are a lot of good teams that do this pretty much every battleground. Now, we've never really had to do it. Obviously it would have helped for some battlegrounds, but most of the time it was nothing really major because we we, we've probably lost about four or five battlegrounds since we started Battleground since Battlegrounds have came out in the game, so we're not we're not struggling on that. So all good. Um, but we have got attack plans down, all that good stuff. So now fifteen thousand, as you can see, pretty much everyone um, between one four and one five. Uh, it works. Fifteen thousand points. It feels nice to just get that to show that we are we can be a really dominant team. Hopefully we get this now on all of our. Um, all of our battlegrounds so I am going to move on to the finale of this ring domination it's been lingering um, over my head for long enough of course I will get on to what I've done today and how that was um, I've really um, my webcam it shows it like a couple seconds delayed it's really bothering me because um, I can see myself looking down when I'm looking right at the camera and it annoys me because I don't I don't I know for you guys watching this I don't, I don't want, yeah, like, yeah, it might annoy you guys that I'm just, like, looking down like this, so, yeah, uh, let's go with the Neville there, because we need to get some games played on that Neville, I have auto-filled my deck, so no training cards in there anymore, I will go back and play some games on Mark Henry throughout the night, hopefully go and get that Mark Henry as a pro, get that done for catalogue and stuff, as you know how much I like doing catalogue, and then it'll be some training food for uh, future, future cards I need to, I need to get done, you guys know I've got a bunch of monster pros, that I'm in the middle of doing so yeah that is that is up next to do let's go there Alistair Black uh, so what did I do today um, I went to obviously you guys know that I am in Southampton and I wouldn't say the main reason I came here but one of the main reasons I came here well it was a good excuse to come down and visit my brother of course um, and have a bit you know just come to England bit of a break a uh, bit of a change but holiday I suppose if you want to call it um, so I came mainly here in a way, um, to watch the Arsenal-Southampton game, Southampton-Arsenal game, uh, as my brother has a flat literally about five to ten minutes away from the stadium. Um, yeah, we got a ticket and we, me and my two other brothers, uh, we went to watch the game. It was, it, was, it was awful. It was really awful. I don't want to break the PG, of course. Uh, I've been doing really well with that recently, but it, it, it was, uh, it was pre pretty, uh, pretty shite. It, let, let's, say, let's say that's all right. Let's say that's not exactly uh, the, the other word. <laughs> But it probably is. It, it was an awful game. It really was. We played. We played really badly. But sorry, we've got the lot. We actually lost that game. Not brilliant. But we'll we'll get the event card. Uh, there's the first shard. Yeah, the game really wasn't brilliant. It was really cold. First of all, it was raining. It was very unpleasant. First of all, that I wouldn't have minded. Of course, if we'd have gone won that game like four or five nil, well, you know, that'd be awesome. But on top of that, Arsenal didn't play very well um, at all. And yeah, we we did end up getting a one-one draw. We definitely didn't serve to win that game. Uh, some would say we didn't even deserve to get the draw. It is what it is. Um, it was it was better than losing the game, but it was definitely not the most enjoyable uh, game I could have chosen to go watch. I obviously didn't know ahead of time, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, and yeah, it, it was okay. There was a great atmosphere. Enjoyed it. Spend uh, spend some time with uh, with the family. It was good. But the game wasn't. <laughs> anyway, let's go and get it, guys. Come on. If we finish this game, we should uh, we should be good. We should be good. Let me, let me lift the phone up a little bit higher. Not not that high. That's, that's a bit too high. No, that's still too high. Okay. <laughs> I can't tell because the webcam's delayed of uh, on how it looks, so I need to wait a couple of seconds. 
Um, so Braun Strowman, God, can't wait to get him proed. Can't wait to get him proed. Of course, RTG's first. It's not going to be fun. Not going to be fun at all. But I'm uh, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. Um, you know, we have had easy opponents in background since uh, season four. But now when we do come up against a good team, apart from if it's like one of the best, um, then then we probably, you know, we, we can probably feel more confident now going into backgrounds against uh, some uh, some higher up teams. That's good. Now that we know we can get 15k and uh, yeah, smooth, smooth sailing. Come on, let's get this game done and then I will show you guys. I wish I would have saved this for the video. I tapped on it kind of. I tapped on it, I, I knew what was going to happen, but in a way I was like, damn, damn, it was, I, I kind of realised a little bit too late, um, and then I was like, I can't go back, and I can't start the video right now, because I literally couldn't at that time, so I had to pretty much claim my uh, King of the Ring rewards, now I didn't make it to the final, no, sorry, I did make it to the final, but I lost in the final, um, which means I got a monster and a beast, which I still think is pretty decent, um, I still need... A bunch of beasts, a bunch of monsters, females, pros, useful or not, but catalog, all, all that good stuff. I still need a bunch of all of that. So no matter what I'm getting, well, no matter what season four cards, I'm I'm gonna be pretty happy that I'm getting season four cards. Um, especially you know that monsters, monsters will still be helpful um, if they're good and if they're you know females. Uh, so I'll show you who I got from that, and let's see if we are going to get Braun on this on this go. Yeah, definitely. Three shards left, and got seven picks. Oh, two in a row. Nice. Another ultra rare. Imagine giving me like a Titan pull. Like we're right. Imagine after this Braun, you get you get you give me a. Uh, well, there he is, guys. There is Braun Strowman. Uh, what am I gonna do for the for the thumbnail? Let me let me quickly figure something out. If I open Gayazo, because normally I just have a leap droid open, which I can take screenshots. I I do apologise for this, <laughs> but yeah, I need I need it for the thumbnail. Really important because I got no good images as I'm on my Mac. Uh, so take that screen capture. Brilliant. We're good. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there we go. I just want to make sure it's up, and I have got it. Before I before I tap to continue, cause uh, yeah, <laughs> I need it. All right, we're good. We we are good. Okay, there we are. Oh, it's a super rare. Why why couldn't you have given me that Titan? So um, there we go. <laughs> Pretty awesome, guys. I'm really happy with that. You guys, I, I'm Braun is honestly one of my favourites recently. He's he, he is awesome. Um, makes Raw very very entertaining. Um, and that was that's. It. I'm glad. I'm glad he is the event card, the first superstar event card of season four. Uh, what am I doing? What what am I doing? <laughs> I thought I was on Titan. To be fair, there he is. There he is. There he is. Lock him in. We are good. So who did I get in my King of the Ring rewards, guys? Who did I get? We'll start off with the Beast. I honestly, right now, if you ask me who I got, I I wouldn't know. I'm I'm, I'm hoping I recognise and uh, will spot who I got from scrolling. Th yeah, from, from scrolling through them. Yep, I'm pretty, yeah, okay, it was Mojo, it is Mojo, Mojo is the um, the one we got, as soon as I was like, I was like, is, is it Mojo, is it not, I'm going to go to the end, but I'm pretty sure it's Mojo, and then it, we were good, but yeah, no, it is Mojo, now I kind of remember, um, so yeah, it was it's new, oh, and you can even see that he's not locked, so that that is a kind of giveaway, good. Who did we get as our monster? Um, yes, I remember who we got, yeah, I remember who we got, I was really happy about this, because this is my elite Finn Balor for me. Um, I remember when obviously season three came out. I looked the my the image that I really liked. Obviously, the ultimate Alexa Bliss was one of them, but uh, the elite Finn Balor. Um, I remember being a lot, very hyped about it because I thought it was a really sick image uh, with the flames and he looked proper evil in it. I thought it was really cool. Uh, and my elite Finn, if I had to choose one in season four, it would be this card. This card that I got. Um, and I, I might just make him my champion for a bit because I, I think it is that good. Uh, I think we might have to keep there. It is there. It is. Shh, 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 shh. It, it's it's good. It really is. It's really good. I know Eric Rowan does it, but it's more in a like weird kind of yeah, a bit a bit of a weird way. It's not meant to just be like shh, you know like shh. like you know like the yeah. It's it, this is a cool image. So yeah, I, I might make that my uh, my champion for a bit. So, um, kind of dragging this video out. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, what else do I want to do? That's done, that's done. I think it's time to get into uh, the mailbox question of the episode. And uh, it comes to you by user 
uh, the, with the name, oh, which one was it? I'm pretty sure it's these guys. So Jamie's the first one. Um, so Jamie says, what was your favourite Attitude Era moment? My favourite Attitude Era moment, Kurt Angle with the milk truck, hands down. Um, what was your favourite, uh, oh god, why am I rereading that? Oh no, he, you put, no, yeah, I, I was about to say no, I'm, I changed lines, but no, yeah, you put it in twice. Um, or no, 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 your second one, sorry, it's not actually the same thing. What was my favourite Kurt Angle moment? Favourite Kurt Angle moment in WWE it's probably the same segment with the milk drug. I also love um, the uh, I'm a sexy Kurt um, or the kind of backstage um, skits, if you want, with uh, with Stone Cold and with the little cowboy hat or the, the kick me or I suck um, with uh, Edge and Christian on the back. All those were great segments. Loved all of those. But I would say my favourite Kurt Angle segment is TNA stuff. And I won't go too much into TNA stuff because probably not a lot of you guys watch TNA. But yeah, pretty much everything Kurt Angle did in TNA, I loved. Um, so thank you so much, Jamie, for your questions, dude. I really appreciate that. Will the Beast asks, "Hi, I mean, my question to you is, what are your top three pay per views? Uh, top three pay per views: Elimination Chamber, third, um, second, Money in the Bank, first, Royal Rumble. In that order, obviously, so my favorite is Royal Rumble. Um, thank you so much for your question, Will the Beast. Appreciate that, man. And then obviously, like. If you want like a couple other pay-per-views, I really do enjoy, obviously, WrestleMania, because it is WrestleMania. So much hype going towards WrestleMania, but the only reason it's not in my top three is because there are just some WrestleManias that are horrible. Uh, I, know, I know there are some Chambers and some Money in the Banks and some Royal Rumbles that are bad, but I do like the gimmick matches that they, they hold on those pay-per-views because they are very fun and um, entertaining matches to watch. Even though the pay-per-view might not be amazing, those matches are pretty much always fun to watch and enjoyable. Uh, Dan Powell, your question. Um, hi, I love your vids. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much, man. My question is, what would uh, be your dream uh, match? Mine would be AJ Styles versus CM Punk. That's a great match. AJ Styles vs CM Punk would definitely be one of the matches. Uh, I, if, if I could book, I'd book. Definitely. Well, what a dream match that is. But my all-time favourite dream match, and I have said this quite a, quite a lot, but probably not actually that recently, but it's a fatal four-way main event of WrestleMania, and it would be AJ Styles versus CM Punk versus Kurt Angle. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> versus Samoa Joe. Um, yeah. That, that would really be awesome. You, you could um, Styles, Punk, and um, an Angle, and then Joe, you could substitute it with like a bunch of other people. Sting would be a great one. Um, Undertaker would be a great one. Um, there are a lot. John Cena would be a pretty good one. Um, but yeah, Samoa Joe in there, because I, I just love Samoa Joe, and he would work so well with AJ and Angle, because uh, you know their work, they've worked brilliantly together in the past. Um, so yeah, thank you, Dan Powell, for your question. And Liam, what what is you? Thank you, you said. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. Um, thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. Really do appreciate it. Of course, if you guys want your questions featured in the next episode, then you can go ahead and leave them on my mailbox. You do that by going onto my team, which is Supercard HOF, or Supercard Hall of Fame. Click on me uh, and then send me a message. I will try and answer it. If there's questions that have been asked already, or things that are not like new and event like you know, um, I, I might not I'm, I might just answer you, but not feature in the video, or I literally might not answer at all. And if I do that, it's not because I hate you or something. It's because I get a lot of messages and I just don't really. I, I probably could find time, but I don't really. It's just yeah, it is it is a lot of time. I do get a lot of messages, so yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you though for for asking all your questions. Really appreciate it. Drop a like if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new, not tomorrow actually, the day, the day after. <laughs> Peace.